Hi, Gemini. Well, this is only for single Geminis, okay? This is a quick Valentine's forecast. If you're going to be meeting the right one, will you be meeting a very good potential? Or it's, is it just another lesson to learn? Let's take a look. Hmm. Okay. Well, some single Geminis, you're going to be dating your mother. Or you're going to be taking your mother in a very nice dinner. Okay. Some Geminis will also find comfort in the company of people that's older than them. Whether it's a man or a woman. All right. Huh, and some Geminis will be choosing between the fire and air. Mm -mm -mm. Both of these people are actually, you know, very good potentials and they're very nice. Okay. They're also very ideal to be with. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, you know, it's just that the other I the other air sign is good in anal. The other person is good in, you know, with their hands. So they both satisfy you, especially if you're a guy. Now. <laughs> okay. First off, Gemini. Your finances will be very good, okay, for the next coming four days or four weeks. But when it comes to finding the real potential, you will be seeking the approval of your mother, okay? Whether you're a man or a woman, you, you'll be seeking the, uh, the, uh, the advice or the approval of your mother with the person that you're going to be dating with. And some single Geminis will be taking out their mother this Valentine's out in a very, you know, lavish dinner or you're going to be giving them a very good time. Okay, and you will be meeting somebody who is older than you. One is an air sign, one is a fire sign. I don't feel like these people are both from your from your past, but they are both new. You will get caught up, you know, like uh, whether you should choose the uh, the fire sign or the air sign because both of them are very good and ideal to be in a relationship with. They're both financially stable. They're both. You know high achievers and they are both financially stable which is obviously that's you know that's the most important thing somebody who can support you or somebody who can uh, help you out with your endeavors but it seems like when it comes to sex okay this is where you're really having a hard time making a choice because both of them can deliver, both of them can satisfy you, and both of them can definitely, you know, it's not just all about sex. It's very passionate. It, you know, it has a connection, feelings, you know, the chemistry. It's really different. It's totally different. And now you really want to choose because you know that you can have them both, you know, for such a long period of time. And... Uh, it seems like you're going to be choosing the air sign instead of the f instead of the uh, the fire sign. Okay, the air sign is very intelligent, sharp. You know, very observant. Somebody who can uh, read your mind, or somebody who can definitely, um, you know, like satisfy your you know like a, your need for conversations okay because you like a person who can bridge from one conversation or from one topic to another and this person can talk anything and everything under the sun while the fire sign is yeah they talk but you feel like oh like okay can we connect intellectually you know like yeah the other person is also self-employed or the other person makes good money but 
you know the, the, the intellectual level is something that you feel like uh, that's very average and like the air sign that you feel like uh, you feel so homey you feel so comfortable you know a lot of things about sports and you know a lot of things about you know the things that you have in common is so you talk a lot of things together and there's no dull moment so i feel like within the next five days or five weeks that you will be making a decision of letting the other person go now will this be in long term oh yes it seems like you will be unleashing you know the uh, the water side of you and it seems like you will also be a little bit possessive of this person and a little bit um, guarded okay but there is a very good and long potential of this relationship to be in for like a long uh, long time or long term now let's take a look what should you be focusing on and you know the good thing about this air sign is that they have the potential of being faithful and loyal to you while the air is sorry while the fire sign is they're kind of a, a little bit finicky okay and they're only good at the beginning but they love constant changes even if there's nothing to be changed or even if there's no need to change they will keep on looking for something to change just because that they want to see it and they've been growing bored out of it while this air sign they have stability they have constancy and yep this is the gift of the universe for you transformation now oh. wealth well this person is really wealthy shift now for gemini women i feel like this is the person who will have the potential of you having a child with if the two of you really want to and there will be a big transformation okay that's going to be coming your way and it seems like you will have a very happy relationship or you will have a happy future with this person now the only thing here is you will be missing the fire sign even though there's no stability now of course that you will be questioning like why is it that when the other person is almost perfect why do i still need to you know miss the other miss the other person or miss the fire sign the, you know this air sign is very workaholic they're very targeted they're very goal oriented they're very career oriented so most of the time they're not really there or they're working long hours you're going to be missing them they don't have time to talk to you they don't even have time to text you but this fire sign just because they're not as successful or they're not as busy as the air sign they will have time to talk to you listen to you you know and woo you but you have to remember that this is you know this person has a very good and long-term potential to be with you if you're going to waste this moment and opportunity then you will stumble upon your karmic connections or karmic soulmates all right this is the right one for you and please don't waste your opportunity or your chance all right so anyway if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sofieingle.net you may talk to me live there uh, there's a live video module that you can click at the home page okay and for you to access the rest of the pages of my website you just need to register all right blessings to you